Good morning. I've got all my stuff ready to be packed up. We fed Mr. Wolf breakfast. We've had a little bar for breakfast ourselves. And uh, we're gonna get on the, on the water. It was a good night. There's a lot of really big bees here. A lot of bees. It's not that warm today and I think I have some more lining to do, so. Got my sweater on and trying to warm up beforehand. Okay, up. Good dog. Drop Wolfie off. We got a little bumpy ride here. Good boy. Good dog, Wolfie. Good. Good boy. What? A, oh shit, 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 shit. Go around it, dude. Go around it. Around this way. Wait. Oh. Come on, buddy. You okay? Good boy! That was really good. Good boy! Come on! Come on, hop, 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 hop. Let's go! Wolfie, I'm gonna leave. Let's go! Let's go! Hop, 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 hop! Hop, 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 hop! Come on! Yep! Yep! Good boy! Come here. That was a good boy. Good job. Good boy. Good dog. Whew. What you know about that? Look at that hair. <laughs> you coming in? Are you coming in, bud? Buffy. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Come on.
I keep hearing thunder. Just getting ready for it to storm if it does. Got all my stuff underneath my tarp. Pretty awesome view from inside my shelter here. Part of the reason why I brought this. Again, it's not as easy to set up as a freestanding tent. Not as easy to find a spot. But once it's up, super comfortable. And I wouldn't be able to be in here in the daytime if it was... Uh, if I didn't have airflow like this. Mophie's been chilling out there for quite some time. Wow, I might have to go batten down the hatches a touch. We shall see. What do you think there, Wolf? Don't eat in your tent. Don't eat in your tent, Wolfie. All right, I battened her down a little bit. Wolfie's first thunderstorm. Ready? Oh, let's try again, ready? Oh, one more time. Oh, third time's a charm with Rooney. Good job. For a couple hours now. I got out on a little break and I fixed up the tarp quite a bit because I was getting a little drips in here and now we're squared away. Got more room too so we'll be solid. Good morning. Man it rained for like 12 hours last night. I thought it was gonna be all day today too and it might still be but it stopped for a bit. So I need to get up and pack down and get on the, on the water before it starts raining again. Just that's what I'd like to do. Oh man. I guess last night was not the night to set it up all willy nilly. Hey bud. What you doing over there, Wolfer? Last night was night four. The previous three nights I set it up in a perfect A-frame configuration. Wouldn't have been a problem today or last night. I was like, yeah, we'll set it up to get a breeze through, like I was saying. Not a hint of rain, and then boom. But that's okay. We made it work. I stayed dry. Wolfie stayed dry. It's all good. Mosquitoes are out like crazy. We're gonna get breakfast and get on the on the water.
It's a very different day today. Pretty gray out, moody, but I like it. I love the look of that lichen and moss on those exposed rocks, especially in this light. I remembered something last night, you know what I mean? I remembered how it was to be just completely at the mercy of nature. Anything could have happened. Lightning could have, lightning was crashing right overhead. The lightning could have struck a tree near me. All I had is a tarp. I haven't felt that in a long time, but I like it. It was good. And I'm really happy of, happy how Wolf, happy and proud at how Wolf acted last night. Um, sometimes when the thunder, the lightning would crack overhead and I could wait two or three seconds. I know there's gonna be a big crash and he'd look up and I'd just be like, it's all right. And he'd go, mm, lay back down. So he's done really, really good this whole time. There was one time yesterday and it was not his fault. He was bored. He was in the boat all day. But he didn't want to come back after uh, after he stopped to see check out a campsite. I think he thought we were there for the night. And uh, he did come back. It only took five minutes of me just whistling and hollering. But can't really blame him. He's still only just over one years old. Uh, this is his biggest trip ever. This is the most time we've ever spent out together alone. And uh, yeah, no complaints. Very good, Wolfie boy. All right, I got to start paying attention where we're going here. So this is day three with no navigation aid, except for my printed map that Bruce uh, hooks it up with when you when you uh, go through him. I've really like all said it, this is a lake. I mean a, a river. So like I am going in general direction, but I am going north and east and sometimes back south. And there's bays everywhere, like you can see everywhere. It's not just a straight line. Like look around. I'm not in some little like channel but i have had no problem and this is the first time that i've been able to do this without an issue the last time my first time with wabakini i downloaded all the maps except for one and i had a little bit of an issue um trying to find my way but i think i might be learning things as i go here just maybe just portaged around all that. Biggest portage of the trip yet. Set at 750 meters. Wolfie did good. Uh, boat's a bit much for me to carry, but I'm getting, getting used to it. Gonna put on my man muscles, you know? Lot more buggy today than it's been. But that's to be expected with the rain and the cool weather. Getting a chipmunk? Hey, you're gonna careful you don't slip, bud. Go on. Come. Okay. Keep chasing the chipmunk then. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. We're making good time. Silly. Come on. Wolfie, come. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, you're a prick. All right, come on. Hop. Good boy, come, come. Yes, yes. Yes, good boy. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, good boy. Look at my butt. Look at my butt. Sit on them rods. I sit on them rooms. Wolfie, can you sit normally, please? Good boy. Yep. 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 Yeah. There you go. A good puppy boy. There's a pretty little area in here. Couple swifts. Nice. I'm starting to feel like I'm in the groove. This, this day might be my favorite day so far. And uh, I've I already portaged more in this day than I have in the past four days. It's nothing to do with the portage, and it's more the weather and the mood. I'm feeling good again, and uh, yeah, I'm in my in my rhythm. 
at first I was so concerned, like not even concerned, just overwhelmed with all the gear. Like I have so much more than I normally do. Like the two backpacks alone is more than I normally have. Great, so I've done that before. Then I've got, <coughs> pardon, I've got a fanny pack with, with a tackle box. I've got Wolf and his harness and his um, backpack that goes to the harness. Uh, I've got two fishing poles, two rods. Um, that's probably it. But like, just figuring out how to set up for portages and carry the stuff when I'm going through rapids and stuff like secure it all. Um, it just took a couple days, and now my gear is a bit lighter too and stuff. So, anyways, it happens. This isn't the first time that I felt that way. I feel uh, this is the spot to put some. I want to save some for a waterfall, but I feel really at peace here, and I think that. Isaac would uh, really like it right here, so I, I'm sorry that you never saw anything like this, but it's my fault. Hey mom, look, this is where it is. Super, super pretty, super remote. Real rugged. Real peaceful. My hair is real crazy. But uh, you would have liked it here. I love you mom. Just wanted to get a fish for lunch. It's 11:38, and I trolled for maybe 10 minutes. I got a big hit here coming through the narrows. Might be a pike, but I'll, I'm gonna eat it regardless. Whatever it is, hoping for a walleye. We'll just catch one for lunch. I'll share it with Wolf, especially if it's a decent size. It is a pike, but that's okay. All right, I whipped up a little fire. I'm gonna uh, deep fry for fish crispies um, fillets. Oh, it was all wet. I actually had to use this to start the fire, believe it or not. Uh oh. We got some set aside for wolf. I'm hungry. All right, we got the second batch on right now. Get some lemon on here. Mmm. Lemon on here. And then we'll put also some vinegar and salt, as per usual. And the lemon stings the cuts so very bad. Oh yeah, all that's missing is salt now. I just gotta find that. Mm. I removed the white bone seed. There they are. I made the fire on a rock right next to the water so I could just either soak it or kick the coals in the water. I'm not at a campsite. I thought I'd have an easier time finding firewood. 
if I just pulled up somewhere and that was not the case. Everything's soaked here, which is probably the same as everywhere. Seriously, 12 hours of rain last night. Hmm. plate bro ah! uh, I was on my way to my destination camp for today just a spot I thought I wanted to be at and then I paddled by here and I am in this bowl of just amazingness there's two waterfalls coming in right here a little bowl a little punch bowl and then a waterfall going out that way we got a camp here it's a beauty. I can go. There's like a, there's like a little rock cave thing there. Wolfie's swimming. Yeah, I'm gonna go have a nice swim. I already did, but I'm gonna go back in, put my life jacket on, swim over to the falls, maybe slide down them, and uh, post up here. It's early still. What do with my watch. It's early still, 2:30 like or something. But uh, yeah, I want to be here. You coming? I'm gonna go swimming. I'm pull Kyle and wear my wear my life jacket just because it's so far. I don't want to swim the whole way. Oh, it's windy! It's windy! I'm sure, the sun goes away. The sun goes away and the wind kicks up just as I get in. I've got to be careful not to get sucked down the waterfall. My toe is cramped. It happens every time I swim now. I don't know what's going on with me. I wish that sun would come back though. Mr. Sun. I can't touch here. Woo! Hello! Hello! Oh, there we go. Oh, nope, that was just a log. Pretty cool. Oh, there's a little home. A little home over there. Uh, let's go. Let's go over to the water. Wolfie's way over yonder. Now this is more like the jacuzzi. This is a freaking jacuzzi, bud. There's like levels to it. I'm sitting on a rock. Okay, there we go. There we go. Jacuzzi in it up. Woo! This is not too shabby. If that sun comes out, it'll be even nicer. Wow. This is awesome. I had some kind of le baby leech or larva or something, a bunch of them stuck to my legs after sitting in that jacuzzi. <laughs> we won't do that again. There's this other waterfall over here I want to check out. Wolfie's starting to cry at me. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? <laughs> Come this way, around this way, around that way. Buddy, what are you doing? That way.
Good boy. That's he's gonna meet me up here. That's crazy. <laughs> Maru. Hey, buddy! Wolfie! Hi, good boy! Yeah! You did it! Come here! You did it! You did it! But you're such a good boy! Such a good boy! <laughs> and he's off! Be careful, man! <laughs> what did you do? Hey? What did you do? <laughs> Wolf, where are you going? <laughs> Wolfie, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. What a good dog. Where are you going? Hey? You did a good job. You did a good job. Good boy. Now you gotta get back over. Are we gonna swim? It's a ways away. If we walk. And I got no pants. No pants! Ow. Ah. Through the bush it is. Go on. Let me smell. Oh, probably everything, eh? It's a wild looking bush here. Nice mature forest. Got a couple of tacos, garlic, fresh garlic. I put corn and hot sauce in there. And I got a dollop of cheese on top of each one. I guess it could have just made it into one, but I use two wraps. I don't need them for anything else now. I was gonna put fresh onion on it, but I think the onion's gone bad. I know it has a tendency to soak up things, the onion. All right. Very good. to move camps it's seven o'clock so I got it kind of have to move it a little bit quick uh, I'm going to go to the one that I originally planned on going to there's nothing wrong with this site but I have experienced it it's great I can't catch any fish out there and I do want to see what the other sites like so I have plenty of time to get there I would have it's, it's only gonna take me an hour or two to get there tops so no problems, there's light till 10. And I'll just get there and set up camp and go to bed. 
But that's part of the adventure. I want to see, see as many places while I'm here as I can. And it's fun to experience different campsites. So he's got world class marked on that one. And I'm going to take his word on it and go try. So here we go. Real cool little spot. Real cool spot. All right, here we go. Okay, we're at the new site. We're on a portage. The fire pit's over there. And it is pretty epic. Of a moose vertebrae. Wolfie, what's this? Well, no luck fishing, but this is our fire spot and uh, it's pretty epic. Hey, bud, what are you thinking? Hey, what are you thinking? I should have never brought an axe. That was the first time I used it this whole trip. I didn't know what to expect though. Good boy! I guess I better go find Wolf. I haven't seen him in a hot minute. Hey bud! Wolf! Hey! You're never too far away. You're never too far away, butt scratcher boy. Come here. Here you go, boy. Woo woo. Woo woo woo. Woo woo woo. Oh, beauty. No wonder you're chilling out over here. Hey? Nice and cool, little breeze. Nice.
Well, I'm gonna go sit by the fire. Okay. <laughs> At home I would never eat, make, or order blueberry pancakes, but it just seems fitting out here. I don't know if it's because we're on a, like a heavily used portage or what, but this is the first site where Wolfie has just not stuck around. He's a very, very, very roamy here. Anyways. Got our blueberry pancakes. The blueberries are all on the other side, on the bottom, so it's hard to see, but there's some on top. I got enough pancake mix for another one today. We'll see how this goes. Mm. Well, Stick for good measure. Wolfie! Here! Hey, there you are. Never too far away, huh? Want some blueberries? There you go. Here. Good boy. Right here. Good boy. It's okay. So right near the end of this trip, I know there's a set of waterfalls that some people call the Seven Sisters, although Bruce chastises that. Um, but they're big, enormous, but they're big, like awe-inspiring waterfalls, right? And I've been paddling towards them, like that's the culmination of the trip basically. I'm just looking over the map and it looks like I'll be able to get, like I'm almost there right now, to be honest with you. I am maybe five kilometers away and it's not even 11 in the morning. The wind is at my back. There's no portaging for a while. Some of those portages are supposed to be pretty epic, pretty brutal. Um, but anyways, I'm saying all this to say that I've had it in my mind that I was going to spread the rest of Isaac's ashes there at one of those really epic waterfalls, really awe-inspiring spots. It just seems like a suiting place. And I, I ever since like, I had this in my mind that I thought that that's what it was going to be. So I imagine that's going to happen today. And um, yeah, I'm just dwelling on it, just thinking about it in him and different things and uh, trying to come to peace with it. I've, it's really hard for me. I've never lost anyone this close before. And there's a great amount of um, responsibility felt. And I don't need anybody to say anything about that. It's just, it is what it is. Um, probably need to go talk to somebody but I'm trying to just work it out here you know what I mean um, but it's gonna take some time who's my buddy you know what I mean uh, I love him anyways so I think that's gonna happen today and then I'll probably get out of here tomorrow I would assume there's no point in sticking around after that it's just a couple like longer lakes like that that's the, the peak of the trip in my mind for me it was at least so I'll get home way earlier than I thought. That'll be a week 
a week in the bush with wolf, a week in the Wabakini wilds with wolf. Or carefree on the Kopka. Or a week-long bonding experience with my dog Wolf in the wilderness. In the Canadian wilderness with only 10 items. Do, 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 do. this uh, boulder garden we're going through. Pretty killer. Killer! Last portage was real rough, up and down, down a waterfall. Seems like there's another one right here too. Well, we've come to the infamous staircase portage. I believe this is gonna be my last portage of the day, depending on how the site looks at the end of it. We gotta go up this. What are we gonna do about you, bud? Can we do it? Hop, 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 hop. Almost. You gotta come. I'll help you. One sec. Good boy. Wait, wait, wait. Good boy, yeah! Good dog! Woo! All right, I don't know if we're in frame still, but I gotta get this bad boy up there. It's a little limousine of a canoe.
sure there's an easier way to do this, but this is all for the video. All for the video. Ah, just for the likes, you know? Or the dislikes, whatever. Whatever flows your boat. Well, here there's a will, there's a way. Ah, I got all the will I could ever hit. Woo! Look at this place. Oh my gosh. He's just grazing. I'm huffing and puffing. That was a lot. This is wild looking here. Real pretty. Where's the campsite? Oh, it's over there. That looks awesome. Yeah, we're staying here. This looks freaking sweet. How do I get over there? How do I get over there, Wolfie? All right, Bruce, this is world class. I'll give it to you. We gotta, just gotta make our way over there, figure out the way back, the easy way back to the gear, but I'm in no rush. Yep, this will do. Wow, talk about a sight. Wow, look at that tent pad, woo boy. We're gonna sleep level tonight somewhat. Look, there's two options, two options for tent pads. Unheard of. Unheard of. Three. <whistles> now we're getting crazy. What do you think, Wolf? Let's go for a little skinny dip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little duckling. <laughs> Maybe a full size duck. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Okay, cool, man. Very happy with this. Made ladder there too. Different one. Look at this. 
Talk about a punch bowl. Oh my gosh. This place is special. Man. Try and cast the line in here. camp back in there and this is the other side over here not where the waterfall is the other side look at it even if it had one of these features it would be awesome but it has all What a great campsite this is. You know, I took a, a little paddle around here and checked things out. There's a waterfall right around the corner from here. Beautiful, beautiful waterfall. Um, this whole lake is really nice. It's a great campsite to end the trip with. I actually just talked to Bruce via InReach and we planned my pickup for 1 p.m. tomorrow. I'm very close to the takeout, so it won't even take me that long to get there. So we'll have our time in the morning. Along the way today, I stopped at one of the waterfalls where I had envisioned spreading Isaac's ashes, and I did that. And that was a pretty emotional time for me. I took took some time and sat there and Wolfie seemed to understand and he came and sat with me and it was, it was a pretty surreal moment. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I wanted to put him somewhere where, where it was really cool, really, really nice scenery and so his ashes would have traveled down the second set of waterfalls and come down down this waterfall and spread it throughout this river that I'm at right now. There's not enough time in this world. I should have done these things with him. Not carry around his fucking ashes. You know and There's not enough time. No fish, no. <laughs> Except for the two little babies. So I'm eating rice for supper. It's okay. I might go out and fish later on. I still have food. But I already ate uh, chicken soup when I got here. to have a really nice peaceful time on the water here on this lake just paddling around and checking things out really 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 very spectacular again it's just it's a great way to end the trip
That's a view. Good job today. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, buddy. Mm -hmm. oh, boo, 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 boo. Go out. All right, one minute. Hey, here. There you go. Almost. I'm gonna go back to bed. Well, someone wants his food, wouldn't leave me alone in there. Coming to the door. Coming to the door, coming in, leaving. You want some food? Well, the backpacks are getting light. That's a good thing. This is certainly my favorite campsite of the trip. I'm very happy to have had it as my last one. We got a couple hours paddle and portage, and Bruce will pick us up. Come on, buddy. Wolfie, come. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Yep. Hop, 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 hop. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. What you didn't see is me already carrying down the gear and me searching to find this part of the portage for 45 minutes. Woo! She's a steep one. Oh boy. All right, now I got the camera. Heading back down.
Say bye. <laughs> well, that was super cool. I come out and there's like a couple campsites left of this trip and they're pile around the corner at this epic site. There's smoke from a fire and a couple a couple tents up and stuff and uh, get a little bit closer. I was going to come say hi. And uh guy yells out, Joe! I'm like, oh, what's up? And he's like, did you get our note? A couple days ago, there was a, like a little cut off round, a piece of wood with Joe written on it in a piece of, with a piece of charcoal. Anyways, it's a nice family from down Southern Ontario way. And uh, I went and said hi, and that was pretty cool. So they were happy to see me, and I was happy to see them. Well, this is the biggest fish I've caught today. I caught a pike smaller than this, believe it or not. Hold you to watch out. Okay, here we go.